In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm organizing my Planner Kate reusable sticker book so that it functions really well when I need it for planning. Hi, I'm Kristen and I post functional planning videos on my channel. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Okay, so this video has been a long time coming. I actually ordered this book a long time ago and I've been kind of trying to work on it. It's just one of those things that keeps getting put on the back burner. So I have my old sticker book here and I will link the video where I talked about this one up here at the top and I will put, actually I'll link the playlist maybe? I don't know, I'll link something and there'll be videos about my sticker organization. Um, okay, the thing is, let me just kind of give you a little brief overview of this. So this is a Planner Kate reusable sticker book. It's a large one. Um, I love it because of its size. The, there are a lot of smaller sticker books on the market and the very first one I had a long time ago was about like maybe this tall and it was skinnier. And so it didn't fit like the large piece of, pieces of washi and everything. This actually fits like a full size sticker sheet from Planner Kate. So like you can see here how it fits on there. And so the washies and things that come on these, the sides of these um, sticker sheets actually fit on these pages, which is really nice. And that is like the main um, benefit of using the Planner Kate book. Also, it's just nice because it's just simple. It doesn't have like a design. You don't have to pick from like a special cover and then get sick of that cover later. <laughs> like it's just a nice, pretty, plain cover. Okay, so let's um, show you this one. I think, um, I didn't notice this when I first got this, that I think this actually was an oopsie that I never noticed the way the binding is. I think this is actually the back. Like I think it was supposed to be this way and because it came to me with the Planner Kate sticker on the front like this, I think it wasn't correct. And then when I got this one, it kind of, um, it, it made more sense that that is what happened with this. I mean, it worked fine. I just, you know, so this is the binding is actually like the opening here. I don't know how to explain it, but that's actually supposed to be in the back. And so this one is actually gonna function a little bit better. Um, this one kind of just over time, these kind of corner pages got uh, messed up, but all I had to do really was just make sure I turned it like this when I used it. So I'll still be using this after I empty this out. Um, I think I'm just gonna flip it over and use it the right way. So I have here, these are Erin Condren tabs and if these are still available, I will link them. These work really well for this because of their size and because I organize my stickers in colors that are based on the Erin Condren monthly color scheme. The reason I do that is because when I plan, I normally only use stickers on my monthly spreads. I just, that's just how I do things. Um, I'm not a huge sticker user during the weeks. And so I love stickers, so I wanna use them, but they only make sense for me and my planning style to use them in my monthly view. I like to match the Erin Condren monthly color scheme. And so that's how I organize my stickers. So if you're trying to organize your stickers, you gotta really think about how you plan. If you use stickers all through your weeks, you probably just want to organize by color, but they don't necessarily need to go in order of the months if you're not doing it like this. Like if you're purchasing kits to cover up the color scheme or you're using a different planner that doesn't have this color scheme, then obviously it's not gonna make sense for you to organize based on these colors. So figure that out. What color scheme does your planner use? Are you following that? Or do you not care about colors? I don't know. So that's, that's just, that's gonna be unique to you. So that's just my first tip is to figure out how you plan and what do you reach for first? Like when you're looking for a sticker, is it because of like, is it the color you need or is it the size you need or is it the function of that sticker? So maybe you wanna have all of your stickers for a certain like life category on one page, for example. And that's kind of how I do towards the back of my sticker book is after the color scheme is over, I have like the plain stickers that are not 
necessarily colorful. And I have like a page of all of the scripts that have to do with like to-do lists and goal setting and that kind of like basic planning words. Don't forget, important, that kind of thing. I have all of those together. And then I have like celebrations together. I have school related stickers together and like hobby related stickers together. I have bill stickers, cleaning stickers, um, fitness stickers, health like appointments and like sickness and stuff, work related stickers, cooking and food stickers. Um, and then these were just black stickers that were just kind of everything. And then after that, I had like gray stickers. And then this is just where I just kind of ran out of ideas. And I just kind of put random things after I bought these uh, sticker sheets. Um, I just kind of put them um, back here. And then I just have some blank pages for whatever. And this was my color scheme, which this is an old sheet planner Kate had and they don't have this anymore, but this was just, I actually cut off the ones that didn't matter to me and I only have like the Erin Condren colors and the planner Kate colorway. But now there's like more, um, so I don't know. I don't know if they'll come out with another one, but if they do, I'll probably get it and do something like this. And then back here I have a, this is an Erin Condren pocket. I just had to trim it a little on the one side and then I put this on the inside of the back cover to just keep loose sticker sheets. Things that I still needed to add or just things that, you know, I just haven't added. Like I'm not gonna take all of these off right now and put them in. Maybe, maybe I will. I mean, there's only a few of each color left, but you know what I mean? Like stuff like this, I'm not gonna take every single one of these little stickers off and put them in, in my sticker book. So I just kind of have this um, back pocket for stuff like that. And then over time it just gets full because I don't, I never like put the stickers in. Um, that's what I would tend to do is when I would get new stickers in that I wanna add to the sticker book, I would just put them in here, but now it's like full, like there's too many. So this, it's time to refill the sticker book. And um, I went ahead and purchased a new one to make this easier on me knowing that um, I have enough stickers now that I think I need two books. So basically my game plan here is to move all of the stickers, the colorful stickers, from this book to this book. And then when this is mostly empty, I will f fix the pages to have um, maybe just like scripts and, and icons that don't match the color scheme. So the way I figured out how to do it is I, counted all the pages. I forget how many, I did this so long ago. I'll put it on the screen how many pages there are in this book so you don't have to count them. It's probably um, on the um, Planner Kate site anyway. And then I just divided that I think by 12 because I knew I was only gonna have the color scheme colors in here. And then I just divided that and then bunched together how many pages for each month and I just put paper clips. And then I decided to use the Planner Kate um, tabs. These are meant to go in your planner, um, but I wanted to try them out for this in case, um, these do add a lot of bulk because they are vegan leather. And so they add like a ton of bulk at the top and that's kind of one of the only things I didn't like about it. Um, and I did want them at the top, but these are so big it doesn't really work. So I did end up going down the side. And um, I just wanted to show you here that like these, because it's a, re a reusable sticker book, these, I was, I'm able to take these off and reuse them. So, um, and then the same with these. So this is another thing is because, um, like this isn't coming off, I'm pulling on this. The tabs I've tried in the past just kind of come off of this sticker release paper, but these don't and that's really nice and they're very thin and flat. So um, I recommend these and you can get these in the colorways that you want. There's all different colorways Planner Kate has. She even has um, plain white ones. Let me show you. I think I have some in here. Um, this is another sticker organizing option here. This is the disc album. 
I, I have happy planner discs on mine because I needed bigger, <laughs> I needed more space. But I have, the, there's a sheet of the plain black and white if you wanted that, and then there's the bold that I'm gonna be using, which I should take out, and then there's the muted. There's also like, um, I don't know, there's other colorways available. So just look through those. That's gonna be in the organization tab on Planner Kate, but I'll link them so you don't have to search for them. Okay, so um, I've already started with, I think I've done January, I've done all of January. I started at February and stopped. So we'll pick up in February um, so I can kind of explain. But I think this is kind of how I wanted to do it. So I left this page blank, the first page, because I thought this would be a good spot to just put, I don't know what I thought, I think, um, maybe some favorite like deco stickers or something just for fun because you can see through this. I don't know. I can't remember why I left it blank, but um, we have that. And then that way, whenever you open the book, you open it like this, right? And then you have all of the stickers. So the first page with the tab on it, I always think it's good to have the stuff I need for that month, like any month scripts any um, holiday or birthday things and like these little like bullet point type things. I just feel like the first page is a good spot for that. Now I don't take all of my monthly scripts and put them in here. When I get a new sheet of monthly scripts, I just keep that together in that big disc album I just showed you. Whenever I use one or two of those monthly scripts for another project where I don't need like the full year of those scripts, I will take the rest of them off and put them in here. That way, if I just need like one month, I can just find it in here instead of getting that big book out. And then I know I'm not like breaking up a new sheet. Um, and that way everything that's in that um, disc album is like the whole year. Like if I'm doing a project where I need every month of the year for that project, like maybe I'm doing like the, the 12 boxes page at the front of the planner or something like that, right? Like maybe I'm setting something like this up, then I'll have anything that's in that book I know is a full complete set. And then anytime I'm just looking for one month, I can find it in here. Um, so yeah. And then when you turn the page, I like to have my labels here on this side. And then over here, I have like the bigger boxes. These I really like, but I don't think they're available anymore. You could probably order customs, um, but they're the daily, the old daily duo boxes. Um, this is the A5 size and these are the seven by nine size. These work really well um, on dashboards and stuff. So I just have those here and then just like full boxes and stuff like that. And these are really good for my uh, monthly spread. So those are like right up front where I would need them. The next page is all for black and white icons. Whenever I first started using this, I had just the one page for black and white icons and then more and more came out. And these are my favorite stickers. So um, as more came out, I realized I really wanted to have space to expand into more. So I started moving over what I already have in my book and then I'm pretty sure I have a stack of BW icons somewhere else I need to add, which now I'm kind of concerned <laughs> that I forgot. I, I, will, I will have to look through. Um, I know I did because I got some for the puzzles and there's some that say like sale. Okay, so yeah, so I have, let's put this here. So I have all these sheets of BW icons that will need to get transferred. So I'm glad I have enough room here. Basically, because the BW icons come in like each row is one of the um, Erin Condren muted color scheme for the hearts. Um, I just put the row in for each month. Um, and then the ones that are here that are blank, I'll put a few. These are like neutral, they just have white hearts. So I'll put a few in the back here. Um, but I tend, at, like I have here, these are all the ones without color. I tend to never look back here because I am always using the colorful ones because I really only use these on my monthly spreads. So instead of moving all of the 
blank ones. I will be keeping those in just like my overflow album here. This is just where I keep all the extra stuff for whenever I need to refill my sticker book. So that will go um, back there and then I'll figure out what I need to do with those later. Maybe by the time I'm done with all the colorful ones, I will just, um, just use up the blank ones instead, um, instead of buying a new sheet, you know? Okay, so then the next is for scripts. And I love how these look, but I'm realizing I'm not using them as much as I thought I would. And so I really just wanna make sure I'm kind of prioritizing that whenever I am doing my dashboards and stuff. I haven't been using them. I think I've just been writing it in. Um, so anyway, I have the whole section for BW icons, a whole thing for scripts and like the headers with the script names on them. And then we go into the next month. So basically I will just be moving over all of my stuff to these pages. And then once that is done, I will show you, basically I will show you how that looks. Um, let's see what the tools I'm going to be using for this is definitely this Cricut sticker lifter and another way I like to whenever I'm moving them off the sheet I like to go let me show you you can just kind of like lift up like this and you can grab all of them all at once like this and then you can transfer them over that way so i guess we'll do let's do one maybe since i already started that and i can demonstrate how that works um we'll put these down here these are just little this is bw81 they're just um watering cans so see how they all come off just like that oh and i didn't do it at the edge so that's a problem <laughs> um start at the edge because you're not going to be able to get it flush to the paper if you don't um, but yeah you just can kind of go like this and get all of them on here and you can kind of do them one by one I think is probably better I think I was just trying to hurry but um, <laughs> I'm obviously already moving them over but yeah you can just um, get them all on there quickly and then use this thing and it, it moves a lot quicker than you think let's put it that way and basically the way I figured out to do it is to do all one color at the same time so now I've done all of January I'll set this aside and then I'll get the next sheet you know I'll get the next sheet and then I'll do all of the January for the next one and then until my stack is empty and then once I get back to the beginning of the stack and we're in February, we'll move to February. So that's kind of how I do it. And I like to just sit at the, um, like on the couch or something. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be watching uh, Formula One and I'm gonna sit and move all my stickers over while I'm watching it. So um, that is my plan. And I, um, let's see, I think I can show you real quick. Like if we go to March, I have all of these um, labels here and um, basically what I'm going to do is just take the labels and I like to just start at the bottom. I don't know why I just do and you just start wherever makes sense to you and I just try to keep them lined up as good as possible and um, because you can fit multiple columns of these one and a half inch labels on here and it will um, maximize your space. And also, this is a good opportunity because I'm moving stickers over. It's a good opportunity for me to kind of call it and like decide, do I really need these? I'm not using these anymore. I don't do a lash appointment anymore, but we do go to the orthodontist. So I'm gonna keep like that one. Um, and then, you know, these over here, these I consider like, more like labels and not like a box so i'll move these ones over and i like to keep you know all the same type together so that um, i can see them whenever i'm planning i like to have everything kind of match and so if i need two of the same stick same sticker they're together you know so there's that 
And um, these are gonna go on a different page, so I'm not gonna put them there. And then on this one, I like to put these big boxes. Now, the problem here is that I have a bunch of these big boxes, whereas you can see here I had four and they took up most of that page. So I'm gonna have to decide how I want to do this for March. I might end up putting like an overflow one on this front of this page because I don't have much of these like singular things to add there. So I think that's what will happen. And then the other thing is I have like these old sheets that I need to put over. And so I will grab like any of these sheets I have left over and just get the remaining stickers that go with that color and just kind of try to, I like to try to keep them all together like that. And then I can put one at a time. I will put them closer together than they come on the paper though. So I still lay them one at a time, but it's nice to kind of have them already all together on there. And there we go. So then I have that and then I can just kind of go through and find any other stickers I want to add to this page. And then, um, it's definitely a multi-day process and it's something that I like to do because it's fun for me. <laughs> um, some people might see this and think, oh, that's a lot of work, that's overwhelming, I don't wanna do that. But for me, it's fun because I really like to play with stickers. I like to look at the colors and I like to just, I just think this is fun, but I also know that I don't use the stickers in my planning. So this, it's a silly little way that I get to play with stickers without overwhelming my plans with stickers, if that makes sense. So anyhow, that's how I kind of make it justify the, the work involved. And then I know once it's done, it's gonna be super functional for like the whole year. And I think now that I kind of figured out I need more space for what I'm doing, this is a better layout. And then I will have the scripts in this one and the colorful stuff in this one. And I will be able to keep up with that system better as I get new stickers and stuff. Um, so yeah, I am gonna go and work on that and then come back at some later date and film more. So it is gonna look different. Um, but yeah, just wanted to get this started and show you how I'm working on my reusable sticker book. I spent all day moving some stickers over and let me show you how far I got. So we've already seen like the January and the February, I think. Um, I'm not sure if I had finished February, but I went ahead and did all of the first pages of all of the months and all of the boxes and labels pages of all of the months. And then I did only the BW icons for a couple of months before I just ran out of steam and it was time to go to bed. Um, and then the scripts also, I don't know how far, I don't remember how far I got, but let's kind of just do a little flip through, I guess. Okay, this is where I stopped with the BW icons. Um, but I think I may have done all the scripts for, no, I did the scripts for April. Okay, so I did, I did just kind of like stop in April. I did the scripts first and then I started on the BW icons. So then when, oh, this is where I stopped with the BW icons, but I think I did all of the labels for November. Yes, because I th think what I need to do is I'm going to show you how I lay down all of the BW icons and then um, kind of finish this out with you so that it's ready for when I film my November plan with me. Um, just so, you know, I, I need to have that done <laughs> so that that can be organized and functional. And then that way um, I can kind of do the rest on my own time. Um, and it won't like interfere with my planning. And then, um, so what I've been doing in here as I'm pulling out the stickers, I'm taking off the um, tabs w when they're done and I'm just kind of putting them on here for now because they will come off. Um, they are still usable so I can keep them and use them 
um, somewhere else if I have a book um, that I want to put them in. They just, w when they come off of here, let's just go ahead and do April. So they release really well, obviously, from the sticker release paper here. So we'll just pull that off. But the tab is stuck together. All you have to do is pull it apart like that. And then it's still sticky. And so, and then you just lay them flat on your sticker release paper and you can use them again. Um, so I've started moving some things over and then um, there's like stuff where I don't have room. So I think I'm going to put these, what didn't fit um, or what I just decided I didn't need on those pages. I might just try to put them back on here um, because I do want to reuse this book. And so I do want to get this book like as empty as I can. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit of leftovers, but um, a lot of stuff is um, being moved over. So this one I'm not done with yet. And then um, I have all of this stuff that I need to move around. Let's kind of put this here just so I remember where I was at. But let's go to November and just see what else I need to move over. So I'm gonna move over these A5 labels because these fit nicely in uh, my Cultivate planners. So I'm just gonna kind of put them this way. Oops, that one's too close to the top. Let's start down here by the tab. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put the, the little A5 labels here because I can get three rows of one and a half inch um, labels across. I think I had probably three rows for February. Let's see, yeah. So I can get three columns, not rows. I can get three columns across of the one and a half inch labels and then I have this kind of like little alley margin here and that fits these um, smaller stickers pretty nicely. So that's what I'm doing there. And so whenever I was doing this, it got so easy to make mistakes and put stickers on the wrong pages and that was kind of like the biggest headache I had with this. It wasn't necessarily moving over the stickers. It was like putting a half of a page of worth of stickers down and not having them on the right page and having to move them. So that was kind of annoying. But um, once I realized I really do need to pay more attention to what I'm doing, then um, I, I figured it out. So what I'm trying to do is have like the same types of labels in the same like order. So the first page is these oversized boxes and um, bullet points and holidays and month names, that kind of thing. And then the second set of pages is all of my boxes and labels. And then the third set of pages is my BW icons and other icons. And then the fourth set of pages is scripts and headers. So that's kind of just the way I started doing it. There's no really no rhyme or reason for that, but that's how I did it. And so I'm trying to keep that same scheme throughout the whole book so that it's nice and organized in that way. Um, so I'm gonna skip these for now because I'm gonna do the BW icons in a minute. And then I'm gonna do this um, by moving over some of these headers and all of the scripts here. So the way I was doing it is I was putting the headers like down here and I don't use most of these and so I'm not gonna, I actually don't use many of these very often. I was using them before but I've then I started uh, using these and I think I like these better um, but Anyway, it is nice to have options, so I do want to keep these in here, and so I'm going to put the ones that I'm most likely going to use um, in this book, and then um, put the rest back on the pages that I have. I have, um, this is just kind of like my overflow book here, and I have my extra sheets. And so I'll probably go through, whenever I empty the old book out, I will go take like the ones that say bills I'm not gonna be using and to go into contact. I just don't use those anymore. And so um, I'll probably just use my tweezers and put them back on this sheet. 
so that they are, you know, safe for safekeeping for later if I want to use them again one day. Um, but right now I'm just kind of keeping this open to all of my BW icons because those are the ones I'm like needing to refill and such. Um, let's do projects and home and let's come from this side because this side will help me put it down without being in the way of that coil. And let's do work, meals, goals, And there's a to-do right here. I try to be a little more precise with lining them up. These, some of these are a little bit crooked, but I think it doesn't matter because I don't have a ton here. On the label page and the BW icon pages, I try to be better about keeping them straight because I know I'm gonna have a lot more to fill up those pages. Um, but these I know I don't have a lot, so it's not that big of a deal. And now, oh, the. The R scripts I put over here because I intend to get more of these, I think, um, because I really like these. And I'm trying to keep it where I have the ones that say like this month and important, like up at the top. And um, I don't forget, like those kind of like basic planning words, I guess you could say. I like to keep those together. And then usually school next. It doesn't really matter. And all of my pages are not in order exactly by, um, you know, the exact same pattern or whatever. It's just kind of what sort of makes sense in my head at the time, I guess you could say. Um, let's just do like cleaning. And some of these, I just don't need this many because I really only use these like once a month on my monthly pages. So I don't need three of the cleaning, but I've already got them on here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep them here. But I think if I were to do this over again from scratch, like with a brand new book and a brand new set of sticker sheets, I might just only put one of each knowing now that I'm only using them one time a month. Um, but this way, you know, I have a couple, so this will stay organized for years now. <laughs> and then some of these just kind of came off of maybe samplers or something, and I didn't actually purchase a whole sheet of these, so I probably won't even use them at all, but they're in here in case I ever want them. Let's see, family time here. We've got a meal plan. And we've got some sleep in. I actually purchased these sleep in ones. I was gonna trim off the in just so it would say sleep. And I was gonna use these to track my sleep on the dot grid section of the life planner dashboard. Um, but then I decided to just use that for F1 and just to keep track of my sleep like on my phone or something instead of um, doing it there. So I didn't uh, keep it there. Now over here is where I'm putting all of the, I think these are called EVT. I'm not sure, but that's where I'm putting those. And I kind of do the same concept where I do like the basic planning words, like do all the things and uh, organize my life and that kind of thing, goal check-in. I kind of put those up at the top just for because I know that those are the ones I'll probably be looking for the most. And they're all, if they're all at the top, then that just kind of takes that, um, it just makes it easier in my brain <laughs> to not have to think about where those might be and search around the page for that.
Okay, and then we've got time to clean. And so what I'm doing here is I've got the, the EVTs, but then I also have some of these, I think these are mixed grips, or I'm not really sure what these are. But a lot of these come off of like the samplers, um, like the weekly samplers. And some of the ones that I think are cute, I kept. Um, and so I'm just putting those in with the mixed grips. And um, this one, I have a lot more than the other ones for some reason. I must have had, I'm not really sure what, um, where those came from. They must have come off of a sampler and just been that color, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, we have a lot of these food ones I wanna put together, order takeout. And some of these I might even consider putting, I wanna keep those together. I'm gonna need to put them here. Um, I might even consider putting some of these like order takeout ones on the, the script section of this book when I redo this book and it's all of the plain stuff and not necessarily colors because then um, I, I don't have like a full sheet of these so I don't have like pizza night on every every monthly color page and so I'm not gonna know where to look for that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm thinking it might be better after I kind of like reorganize this and kind of like reassess the situation, I may move at least one of them over um, to the, the blank or like the, the neutral script pages just so that I um, can find them because I'll organize that by category. So all of the like food related things will be on one page. So if I'm looking for something that says pizza night or order takeout, I'll be able to find it easier than to remember what month I had that one random script in. Let's see, no school. And then I have TV time, which we will put just like right here. Or I'll put that next to date night. Okay, so then over here I just have, oh, I have these that say unplug. Maybe I'll put these here too. Um, these are very old, but they are Planner Kate. And now the rest of the stuff here is all of the icons. So now we need to move over the icons. Oh, and then I also have the PTO meeting ones I'm trying to move, because I do that. Um, I wanna have two on every month because I always have a PTO on the first Friday of the month. And so sometimes I need two of them on my monthly spread because that last week might have like a Friday from the next month in it. And so I'm trying to put one of each of these in, um, in each month. And let me see if I did that with these. Uh, let's start back here. So I have two, let's get these two and then I only had one here, so let's move that there. And then from, from March, I have two, April, I only had one, okay. So we'll start getting those moved over, but let's go back to November and start doing the icons. Now the icons is where it starts to get a little bit tedious because they are so small and I am moving these over one by one because I don't have like where I showed you earlier how you can kind of fold the, the thing and just kind of get the ruler up under there. And um, so I am moving these one by one. Well, okay, I say one by one, but I can usually get like two or three. I'm starting with money at the top. I don't know why, that's just what I did to begin with and now it's just kind of ingrained in my head that money goes at the top and then like work and content creation stuff goes next and then school stuff, I don't know. It, like I said, it doesn't, it would be helpful to always have it in the exact same order but also I don't want to be that tedious with it because then um, 
it'll just be, it'll make it where I don't want to keep doing it. <laughs> okay, so I have those, but then I also have in my stack here, which I don't know, this got out of order somehow. Okay, here we go. So I have my debit cards and my little sale um, stickers. And so we are down in November now. I need to remember that. So I can kind of take the four off of here that I want. And then I can put them here like this, just like that. Um, and then I take this and I, all I do is I turn it face down and as I do them, each sheet gets face down so it stays in the right order and I don't have to fiddle with all of the um, sheets again. But let's get these little sale tags off of there and we'll just kind of put these up here. Sometimes I will just, I will move them one at a time like this so that they can get closer together to conserve space on the page. Um, because some of them are spaced a little bit far apart just the way they needed to be for cutting. But um, once they're on here, I can kind of get them a little bit closer. Um, the other thing that I like to put here is the calculators because that's like for budgeting. So let's get the calculators up here. I'm trying to basically group similar categories together just to help it, help me um, find things easier, I think. So let's get the cameras here. And then what will happen is, say I was moving cameras over but I only had one, I would go in my book here my overflow overstock storage or whatever and find the camera page uh, the film camera page and get that out and and restock those um, but I have plenty in here and now I want to put the um, photo the photo cameras because that's like part of content creation and I don't actually always use these um, so I don't know, I just, I like to have them in case I want to because I, I don't really use it every time and I don't usually write it in my planner um, like on the monthly spread unless it's a change of my normal schedule and so I like to have a sticker. Like I normally will always film on Fridays and usually on Tuesdays so I don't put those in my monthly spread of my planner. Um, unless like certain weeks I might instead of filming on Friday um, I will film on a Thursday because I have something going on that weekend and so then I will tr sometimes write that in my monthly spread because it's a change out of my normal thing like I don't I don't write my I don't write my like the trash days on my planner because I know those days always happen every Monday and Thursday, but maybe on if like on a Thursday or Mondays and Thursdays tend to be like holidays, you know, like Mondays will be like Labor Day or Memorial Day. Thursday is like Thanksgiving or whatever. And so when holidays falls on those fall on those days and we don't have trash service, that's when I would write the write that in there instead of putting a sticker every single time. Um, but now, so now I'm realizing I don't have any like computers here and I want the computers next because it's like a, a content creation thing. I want to have those um, for when I want to write my blog or sometimes I use them for editing. Get these and put some computers on the page because I don't have any anymore. Okay, so I've got these in now. And I will just leave this out for now, just in that same order instead of putting it back and then I can put them all back at once. Um, I have plenty of printers here. I use the printers to indicate whenever I'm working on design stuff like printables for my shop or freebies or something. And now those are on there. And then now I want to put the actual 
like social media icons in case there's something special I need to do for one of them. Um, but I'm not going to put all of them. I'm going to leave some of them on the page and then try to put them back on the sheets because I just am not going to need, you know, 10 Instagram icons or 10 Facebook icons. That's just not how I plan anymore. When I first set this up, I thought that's that I would be using these like more frequently in um, in my planner. I was I think um, especially when I was trying to use the compact vertical, I think that I thought I was gonna have more opportunities to use icons. But my planning style is such that I just need just don't want that many on my weekly spread and so I'm really only using them on the monthly so I'm not really finding many opportunities to use all of these and so I just don't need this many on my reusable book all at one time. Okay, um, the next one I'm gonna do is, I think the pencils, I had the pencils for school related stuff when I first purchased them but now they're kind of, um, let's put the pencils over here. Now they're kind of for writing for me, for writing my blog and stuff. And um, I don't really use them for school anymore now that I have the apples in the backpacks that I just think are cuter <laughs> for school. And um, yeah, and then what I'm noticing here is I don't have, oh, here we are, we do have them. The, the little um, envelopes I'm using now to indicate newsletter. And I really, at this time, only have plans to send my newsletter once a month. I don't know if that'll change, but currently that's all it is, so I don't really need to have a bunch of newsletter icons. So we'll just do the four here. And now we have, so we have all the like money stuff and then we have all the stuff I use for work. And now I wanna do like Goal School Premium because I do use those on my um, monthly a lot. So I like to do the old fashioned little phone for the call that we do um, every month for the masterclass. I like that. There's a, I think there's like a tele, there's like a virtual meeting BW icon, but I just think this one's cuter. And so in my brain, that's what it's for now. Um, and then I also like to use these, these planners with the little bookmark um, to indicate like power sheets. And so we'll put a couple of those. I accidentally purchased a second sheet of these um, I already have. And so it's like at the end here, I need to just put this away. I already have a sheet of those and I, I, I don't know, I accidentally ordered them. I think what I did is I put it in my cart and then I saw these and was like, oh, this is the one I meant to order. This is like a slightly different notebook and then I forgot to take it out of my cart. So let's put some of these on here because I still don't know which ones I want to use for power sheets. And then I think what one of them will be brain dump and one of them will be power sheets, but I don't know. We'll just kind of put them there. Oh, and then I have one more here. So let's kind of move some of these over a little bit and make more room just to fit one more notebook in. Let's get this one. Okay, and now we have these that are like little party poppers that I was using for prep parties, but then I also got this one, this cute little banner flag. So we have some different options, just, I don't know, whatever I'm feeling, I guess. Um, so let's get the blue for these. So we have different options for prep parties. Oh, we're a little too high. We need to move down to make room for those um, little bookmarks hanging down out of those planners. Okay. So we have those, oh, I need to move this here, this here. These are for Power Hour. They're super cute little alarm clocks, but Power Hour. So I'm just gonna put three of those because I don't need that many. There's only one Power Hour a month. Actually, it looks like I've been doing four, so let's just stick with the same, <laughs> the same pattern there. Now, 
They also would be really good if you are planning, um, if you're doing Formula One like I do. So I have the checkered flags, but I think these would be really good for quali. Um, just because it's like, I don't know, like a stopwatch. It's like the time you're trying to get the fastest lap. And to me, that it, it seems like something that would work for that. And then I also have here these little like award ribbons and um, I thought these would be fun for just goal because there's a check mark on them and I think they would be fun for just like goal check-in type things like just to indicate goals because I don't know it's like you're accomplishing your goals another one for goals that would be really good i think there's a target like for archery that might be really good for goals too but i went with this one okay so we have the prep party stuff right what else do i put there let's look and just kind of see what i did on previous months Oh, I did school before prep party stuff. And then I went into hobbies and things. So we'll do school next. Um, let's do apples, backpacks. The apples I use for whenever I have to do anything lunch money related. And I guess I've been starting to do use them for PTO stuff. Apples, teachers, that kind of thing. And then let's do the books and the hobbies next. And then I have all of these headphones that came off of a sampler sheet. I've never purchased these, but I get them on that little sampler, which actually, come to think of it, where is that? There was a little bitty BW Icon sampler that somehow got lost. <laughs> oh well, I'll just add them when I find it again. Okay, so we have, those are some hobbies, and then down here we've got um, gaming. And then we'll do Formula One down here as well. And I think I'll put the little don't forget fingers next to my gaming because I use those for um, remembering uh, Twitch stuff to resubscribe on Twitch which I don't know, I think I might move to changing that to the game controller. I think that I'm gonna do that, like maybe starting in 2025, I don't know, that's like a good time to refresh the planning um, system a little bit. And then I can use these don't forgets just for general don't forget. But we'll just kind of put them all here. Okay. Um, oh, it looks like I had another little clock down here. We'll move here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this Amazon and this box up here at the top by the sale because that's like shopping, I guess. And I think we will do, um, let me put the cars and the airplane. That's kind of like travel, I guess. The cars I've been using to indicate my husband, just like when he's coming home because he drives. And so they're in here. I don't need this many, but oh well, they're already on here. And then they'd be good for like road trip or car wash or oil change or stuff like that. But really for me, I'm mostly using them for that because I don't schedule car washes or <laughs> oil changes ahead of time. So I don't really need that. All right, let's do, oh, you know what? I forgot the TVs and the popcorn. So let's move these down. So this is where it kind of gets frustrating sometimes is not really being on it. Um, and then messing up. So let's see, let's not, you wanna avoid that if you can, if you're starting from scratch where you're just working with 
your brand new sheets of stickers and your empty sticker book, then definitely keep the sheets in order so that um, you won't have this problem. <laughs> keep your sheets in order and just put them in rows uh, that make sense to you. And then that way you won't have to really think about it too much. But all of my stuff is already done, so it is a little bit um, fiddly to have to move everything over and try to keep things in like a sort of similar pattern. So more hobby stuff here. And I definitely don't need all of these TVs here. Okay, so now let's do, I'm trying to kind of gauge how much space I have here and deciding if I put all of this like health and fitness stuff here, that's gonna be too much. I can put, I think I'll do the food next and then we'll move the health and fitness to like this side. I think that makes more sense. Oh, and look here, I'm talking again and I've forgotten to do the puzzle pieces. Um, I think I'll just put the puzzle pieces over here. I love puzzles, it's one of my hobbies. <laughs> So we'll just put them over here next to Formula One and there's plenty of room. Okay, so then the next ones I have are health and then groceries and then home. So I guess I was doing health next, but um, I definitely don't need all of these. So I could probably combine these three into one row and then I can do like the doctor's stuff next, and then I can do like the self-care stuff next, and I think that will work out. Okay. So let's get like the shoes. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna put this many. Let's stick with just like the five and then we'll do some yoga mats. And then a couple of bicycles. And then I'm going to put the tennis rackets up by my son's school, by the school related stickers because that is I'm not really playing tennis. It's um, like for my health and fitness, it's mostly for my son's, my son's scheduling. Okay, so we have like health and fitness and then let's do like the doctor stuff. We've got a little tooth for the dentist and some stethoscopes and some prescriptions. And um, let's do the vitamin next and the scale and the little shot in case I need that. And then we will do like the self-care stuff. So haircuts. Let's just, we don't need that many at all. Um, here's a hair dryer and this little shower. So I think I regret buying the BW162 bathtubs. I really like this one with the little shower head more now that I look at them next to each other. I wish I would have purchased this sheet, so. Oh well, I didn't. So let's put just like a couple of these bathtubs on here. Okay. And nail polishes. All right, and I think that's everything. Oh, the beds, the beds is for sleep. Um, we could do, I think we have room here for two more rows. We can do the beds next and then some of these like cleaning icons and then put all the food on the next page, I think. So we've got house. The beds are good for tracking sleep or also for changing sheets um, or just cleaning your bedroom maybe. And then we have like 
dishes and laundry and this kind of stuff here. And then I have um, cleaning buckets and here, let's put a couple of these. And then we've got cleaning buckets, which I got just to indicate cleaning in general. And then let's do the watering can. And I have a couple more watering cans. I bought a sheet of these. The watering cans are good for obviously watering your plants, fertilizing your plants. Um, also, I think these would be really good for cultivate what matters stuff because you're tending, like you're tending to your tending list or you're tending to your goals and such. And so that would be fun, a fun use for those. And then I have these for like pest control. So those can go at the bottom. So we have all of those and now we just need to do the food ones and we will start a new side. So some of these I don't have two pages yet, so that's kind of cool. Um, we have a lot of that color for some reason. <laughs> okay, so let's do these grocery bags. I got the grocery bags, which kind of are the same as um, the shopping carts, I guess. But I think if you wanted to, you could do the shopping cart for like ordering your groceries and then you could do the shopping bag for picking up or your grocery delivery um, you know because you obviously need to order them before you go pick them up or before they get delivered and so those are different events that you might want to track in your planner or keep track of on your calendar or whatever and so the shopping carts I think would be really good for ordering and then the grocery bags for picking up. And then I have these dinner plates here um, that I thought I would like better, but I think I like the little fork, the little silverware. These have silverware on them, but I think I like the little silverware icons better. And then these little crock pots are really good. I use these. Um, sometimes on my monthly to if I know I need to make a crock pot meal one day then I'll put that on my monthly because that's something that needs to go on my to-do list so I don't forget to do it in the morning and so sometimes I use them that way but they, I also like to use them for like meal prep if I'm using stickers for that and then we'll just take these little extras over here and just kind of stick them there's a pizza a coffee and a to-go bag now all of these, oh, and then I have these stickers, um, which I kind of just have some of these in every month and just, I don't know, for ordering stickers or whatever, they're super cute. I just think they're cute. I haven't really used them, but I like them. <laughs> so those go down there. And then all of these I'm going to, like I said, when I clean out this book for real, I'm going to try to put them back on the sheets they go on. If I can't, if it's too fiddly or something, I think what I'll do is I usually keep um, sticker sheets when I'm done with them and I have them in a drawer, I think. And so I'll probably just take a sticker sheet for every color and just put all of those icons and maybe some of the leftover things that I'm not using. Um, I'll put them all on one sheet and then I, I can stick it in my, you know, my, um, my overflow that way so that they get, you know, used or whatever. Okay, so then now that I'm done with November, let's just pull this off just to, just to show you one more time that. And, um, oh, these go in the front of here. And so I'll probably go like right about here. Okay, so that is how I did that. And then um, now this is in the right order, you know, the way I had them here. And so they're generally in the right order. And then uh, that way I can go on the next month and then just kind of scan through that way. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in back in April so that I can go back and do April. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about in here is the pocket that I have in the back, which I really like and it's handy, but this one's not gonna come off again. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I have other pockets, which I should have found them before I sat down to plan. Here we go. So this is from Daiso and I'm sure there are similar ones on Amazon. I think there's some Avery ones that are exactly like the Erin Condren ones that I have linked in my Amazon favorites, which is in my description. Um, if you get them, they fit almost perfectly. You just need to trim a little bit off the side where the coil is before you put it on. I'm gonna take one of these out and just hope these are like, as nice. Okay, so now we have, oh wait, those white things were the adhesive. Yes, okay. So now what I'm gonna do here is I want this pocket on my back cover to, to work in the same way. And I'm gonna put it this way because this is the way that, does this fit? I'm just gonna have to trim this little bottom corner and that's okay. So um, I want this here because I, I used that pocket. That pocket worked really well for me and I can't get that one off and I don't have any more. And I got these way cheaper. <laughs> Okay, so this is the sticky side. So let's put, okay, so let's put the sticky just like right here. <laughs> let's see, I'm gonna use this. And then I guess we just, yeah, that was easy. We just peel this part off and Line this up as good as I can with the edges. Awesome. I have a tool for this that I can use. And now the pocket is on and then I'm just gonna take, there's just like a little tiny point sticking off there because these corners are rounded. I'm just gonna trim that. It's not even barely anything. I just don't want it to catch on anything and then start peeling off because that's annoying. I should have trimmed it before I put it on there. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is done. And now this pocket is usable for all of those sheets that are just sheets that have like small things on them. And um, let's see. Oh, here's that little VW icon thing I was looking for. These dots, I like those in there too. So we have all of my different dot colors. We have flags and these little things and um, times for the little V list, the V listing labels. And then these can just go nice and snug in there and they're nice and safe and that's perfect. Okay, so that is how that's gonna work. And then I thought I would just explain a little better how I want to do this. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is pull the covers off of here and put them back on the right way. Now that I know that this is not the way they're supposed to be, I'm just kind of gently pulling this out like this. I'm trying not to bend the coil, but you know, I just kind of have to like pull it apart a little bit to get this cover off and put it on the right way. because I do want to keep using this, um, 
this book. So now let's bring, uh oh, I forgot I put those in there. Um, now let's bring the coil this way and we gotta be real gentle because now I don't have any support. Um, it's all just sticker album pages. All right, so now I have this and basically it's gonna just be like upside down now because this is really supposed to be the front of the book. Oh, and look, you can see I messed this up here. See, this is why you have to be careful. So let me just use my tweezers and just kind of pull. Okay, so those are back and then now this one's messed up. So let me get this back. Now I need to get these covers back on, but now it's gonna be like upside down. But that's fine because I'm redoing the whole thing, so. Okay, so now this is gonna be the new like front page. And so we need to get our cover and put it back in here gently. So now we will put the back cover on. I didn't realize it wasn't the right way until <laughs> I got another one and I was like, oh wait, this isn't right. Um, so yeah, I just, I used it that whole time without really realizing it almost there and now we're done so now that's fixed and perfect back just good as new <laughs> okay so now um let's see let's go here and I'm gonna have to turn it back this way to explain it but if we go back to the back so this is where I have all of these pages where I just kind of had some pages at the end that didn't have the colorful stickers and so I used those to put all of these so now and they're kind of um, you know uh, they're kind of crammed together and I have decided, I invested in one of the recent sales, I invested in a bunch of scripts from the Jack font. And so I have a whole bunch of scripts that I need to move over. And then stuff like this, I'm not gonna move over all the date dots and such. So these are gonna go in a different book. These need to go in my big album. And um, so basically, oh, I had this that I need to transfer over to, but that will be last after I figure that out. But I have like all of my dash labels and um, scripts and just kind of like the STKs. These don't go in here either. These are gonna go in planner setup. So let's kind of put these in another stack because I don't need them here either. Okay, and then yeah, so we have all of the just like neutral stickers that I want in here. And um, I want them to be just organized nicer. And I think what I'm gonna do is not transfer over all of the ones um, that I just don't use that font much anymore. And that way, because one of the things that to keep your planner looking neat is to have all your fonts match, pick one or two that coordinate well together, like one plain and then maybe one script if you want two different ones. Don't do like this font and this font. Like they just don't, they clash. They're both cute on their own, but next to each other, they look messy and they make your planner look chaotic and kind of just like weird. Um, so that's just something, and maybe that's just my opinion. I'm sure, you know, people that do that are like, hey, my planner doesn't look weird. I'm sorry, I didn't really mean it that way. I just mean like it, it, it creates like a, 
a difference when your eye is looking at it and your brain is like, whoa, you know, you, just like you wouldn't turn in a, like a report at work or an essay for school that is in like three different fonts. Like you're not going to do that. You're going to keep one nice, easy on the eyes font. And that's what, that's what it is. So you don't need to have all these different fonts in your plans that are going to just cause confusion and stuff. You don't want your brain to have to process why is that different. For me, when I'm moving these over, I'm really going to think about, obviously I want all the jack fonts, right? And um, I do like these EVT kind of scripts. So, you know, I like these ones that are this uh, kit font. I like the jack font. Of course, I like the R scripts. Um, but I think I'm going to not move over all of the gen plans and some of these like, I don't know, is it like a typewriter font? Um, and then I might just put those on their own blank sheet to fi be filed away or to give away or something. But I'm definitely only going to move over the scripts that, I don't know, make sense. And then what I want to do is I, I want to take like my two page spread. I need to find an empty one here. So I think how I'm going to need to do it is I'm going to have to go through and find all of my, let's see, like work words. So we have like day off, payday, and then the one that says work, wherever that went. Um, you know, put those together and then find any of the dash labels that have to do with it, like meeting, Zoom call, that kind of thing. And then I need to go find all of the BW icons that go with that. So um, what I have back here is old, older sheets that have um, like, I just cut them off the bottoms whenever I finished a sheet of the colorful ones. So I will take like the work related plain ones and put them with that. So that way I can use that to assess how I am organizing those pages. But it's this is like a big process. It's a long process. You already see how long this video is and I'm not done. I still have other things I have to do in my life. So there's not time to just sit here and spend days and days organizing this. But that's how I would do it if I was starting from scratch. So I hope that this made sense to you to show you how I'm organizing things by color and I hope my explanation about what I intend to do for organizing my scripts and my neutrals made sense to you. If not, please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, and then you'll see me using these mostly in my monthly plan with me videos if you want to see how I use the book. That's where I use these most of the time. I'm not usually using these in a weekly plan with me. So um, yeah, that's where you're gonna wanna look to find just seeing the sticker book in use. But I've been using this for years, I think two years, at least a year, 18 months. I don't know, I didn't keep track, but I've been using it for a long time this way and it really does help streamline my, my planning process and it's just, it's a very functional way to be able to use some stickers when I want some cute little flair in my functional plans. Um, and then I don't have to go flipping through a bunch of different sticker books and files and different things to find what I need because everything is in one little spot. I only have to turn a few pages and it's all right there where I need it. And then I can just close this to put it away instead of having to go re-slot in all of these sticker sheets into their correct like album space or binder or wherever they go. So this really does help me just make the process of using stickers in my plans like less overwhelming. And I really recommend doing it this way. Of course, you're gonna wanna figure out how you're looking for stickers first. If you're doing it by color, then this is a great way to do it. Um, but yeah, you could definitely just start with the way I'm doing my neutrals, you know, pick a category and put everything together that goes with that category. That way, whenever you're like trying to plan stuff for work, all of your work related stickers are in one spot and you don't have to flip through everything. So that's just my biggest advice there and just have fun with it. It's not something to stress out over um, and get overwhelmed with. If it's starting to feel boring and tedious and you don't wanna do it anymore, stop.
just stop doing it. Um, put on a movie you want to watch um, or a show you want to binge watch. Sit down with all of your stuff with you and start doing it. And then once it gets old and boring, then stop and pick it up another day. So um, anyhow, that's it for this video. I hope it inspired you to organize your stickers in some way. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post videos like this on my channel. And if you like this one, you'll probably like those ones too. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.